is your host, T. West. Welcome to Afro Synergy. Ukraine's CIA-trained spy chief says country is about to experience a very rough patch. After Joe Biden signed the $61 billion giveaway to Ukraine, Ukrainian Foreign Minister Dmitry Kuleba correctly indicated no single package can stop the Russians. And what will stop the Russians is a united front of all of Ukraine and all of its partners. What is not correct is his assumption that a unified NATO will bring about the defeat of Russia. Since 2014, 10 years ago, the United States and its NATO allies, they have been united, but that has not stopped Ukraine from falling to Russia, to its forces. It is well known that Russia is producing more weapons than the West, and Kuleva confirms this, saying, when I see what Russia has achieved, in building up its defense industrial, the uh, industrial base, over two years of war and what the West has achieved, I think that something is wrong on the West's part. Yes, but what's wrong? The United States is greatly in debt and some of its best clients, scientists, even in the weapons area, have been of Asian and other ethnicity and nationality. The United States government has cast suspicion upon these scientists, forcing some to leave the United States and others stepping away from military engineering. In the past, the wealth acquired from hundreds of years of free black labor enabled the United States to hire the best scientists from around the world. That is no longer the case. The caretakers of the United States are mostly lawyers in China. They are engineers. Kirill Budunov, the spook, the head of Ukraine's Gore spy agency, recently stated some interesting facts about the troubles Ukraine is experiencing and is about to experience. Naturally, he is not stating any details about the severe situation Ukraine is in, but I will. I will also say that $61 billion that the United States House just voted on and sent to the Senate for a vote is not going to change the situation that Budinov is concerned about. I am as certain about all of Ukraine falling to Russia as I am about the sun rising tomorrow. Budinov stated, a difficult situation awaits us in the near future. He mentioned the obvious losing situation on the battlefield, but also alluded to internal political problems, expecting it to worsen over the next two months. In fact, you do not have to be internal within Ukrainian politics or its military to know the Zelensky regime is in serious trouble. It is not unrealistic to expect very serious fallout. And I am talking military coup level against Zelensky. Under pressure from the United States, over the last several months, he removed political and military personnel citing corruption. However, we all know that Zelensky is the biggest beneficiary of graft, of corruption, of the billions of dollars that have flowed into the key regime. They know of Zelensky's recent purchase of King Edward's home for $20 million. Yeah, Zelensky, like most American senators and some representatives, has become extremely wealthy after being coronated as president and now a de facto king in Ukraine after eliminating elections this year. To top that, he has signed very draconian military recruitment re requirements, even affecting Ukrainian men who reside outside of Ukraine. He recently forced Ukrainian embassies in other countries not to update or provide passports or other consular services for men between the ages of 18 and 60 years of age. The proclamation is that these men must return to Ukraine and face the fate 
of at least 500,000 who have already died for a cause that only benefits the privileged, such as Arseny Yatsenyuk, the prime minister assigned after the 2014 CIA-sponsored coup overseen by none other than Joe Biden, vice president. Yatsenyuk is now a U.S. citizen and lives in the United States. Budinov, without explaining what he means, stated, Russia would use an integrated approach to achieve its goals. I will tell you the meaning of this. There are two main simultaneous approaches that Russia is pursuing with its Slavic neighbor, Ukraine. One is military and the other is political. With Ukraine as its proxy, Russia has been extremely successful fighting against NATO. Russian military effectiveness on the battlefield has caused serious Western weapons and ammunition shortages. Ukraine's internal political environment, it is explosive. And some within Zelensky's cabinet, as well as a growing number of Ukrainians, they want Zelensky gone. They want him out. They want him out. This is the case within the military as well. Even though Zelensky took over all of the media and virtually consolidated it into one channel, most Ukrainians now realize they have been misled and those responsible have gotten richer. They are not sent to the front lines to fight and have bought property in the West, a parachute for the day all of Ukraine falls to Russia. Russia knows this and at the right time will work with those Ukrainians, even to the westernmost border of Ukraine, to end this CIA-concocted war. Now, some of you uh, have benefited from uh, this program for quite some time now. I hope you all are sharing this with others. I hope you are. If you're not, please do so. T. West, Afro Synergy News.